So then they truly intend to give up the Vlastia. It's... it's over? Oh, no way! Our plan isn't working! No, it's okay. Just a little more. It just needs a little more power. But how? There isn't any more. Come on, we gotta do something. It's gotta work. This can't be how it ends. Pentalukea. Spirits. Humans. The Lucifer. Can this world truly change? So much screaming in this ending cinematic. Spirits? You mean all of them? Awesome! All the Antelikea who became Atafagos, they all transformed into these spirits. So the Atafagos was also part of this world. Unbelievable. It's so beautiful. Ah, it is. We did it. Was this truly the right thing for us to do? I don't know. We lost all the Blastia, and with that, the barriers are gone. But we chose that path, so I guess we gotta live with it. As long as we're still alive, we'll be okay. You are strong. <laughs> yeah, well, that's because I'm not alone. Hey, Duke. See you around. This game manages to be like perfect, literally. By the way, I did see some things in chat, but I didn't want to interrupt the cutscenes. First of all, I saw that Raptor said the secret mission should be easy to get. Yeah, so the secret mission in this, it was basically to finish Duke off with a mystic art. And I, I could have done that if I planned it right, but also you could rematch the final boss, so I'm not too worried about that. Also, we have a second chance. We can do it with the true final boss, so you know. But anyway, yeah, that's the first part. Second question. Don't they show this part of the cutscene in the intro for the game? They might show some stuff from that out of context. I don't remember. I definitely don't recall or know what you're talking about. Maybe they show like little tidbits of it. But yeah. I'm going to say this. I don't hate that ending. I don't know. I... I feel like the ending was, it was good, like that was a good ending, like the way they ended that was perfect, I'm not complaining or anything, but definitely, I don't know, it feels, it does feel like it's missing something, I guess. It feels very, like, quick, I guess? I don't know. I mean, we have the credits, but I don't know. It's not a bad ending, I just feel like they could have done a little more with it. 
either way, that is it. We are at two and a half hours. So that that's actually perfect. I get like 20 minutes to talk about the game. This will be like a three hour stream basically, maybe half an hour, but yeah. I mean, like, where do I start? Tales of Vesperia is a very good game. It's often regarded as like one of the best Tales of games and I could see why. Not my favorite. Is that Rita? And he experimented on? That's definitely Rita. With her invention. I do like that they're showing us these pictures. That's Estelle, definitely. And Rita. Yeah, Estelle and Rita finally met up at the castle, I guess. And there's Carol. That's probably to signify Brave Asperia, the star. But anyway, anyway, th these pictures are really good. But anyway... What, what was I... I was gonna review the game. But anyway, Tales of Asperia, often regarded as... Uh, very good Tales of game. I can see why it's like one of the best Tales of game. It's again, it's not my personal favorite, but I do love the game. I do see where it gets the love. I, I really like it. It does have problems, of course. No game is perfect, so it has issues. And I'm gonna get into that in a minute. ME2K90, welcome to stream. I thought we could fight the other we would get to fight the Adafagus, but it's cool. Oh, I'm not talking about the final boss. I thought the final boss was neat. I'm talking about the ending of the game. Like just the ending after Duke. I don't know. Again, this is not saying Vesperia has a terrible ending. I just wish, I don't know, I wish it was a little more, a little more than that. Like, that's a good ending, but I wish they had a little more than that. But it, it's good. All good. But yeah, I don't know how you would fight the Adafagos. I thought Duke was a fine final boss. Anyway, let, let me get on to the review. But, um, where do I start? Tales of Vesperia, a very good game. Um, music's phenomenal. I think this game probably has the best soundtrack in tales of i think playing through this game i think tales of has like pretty average soundtracks playing through most of them i would say vesperia is definitely one of the best if not the best soundtrack the only other contenders i can think of are symphonia and abyss because i feel like as the series went on the the soundtracks got very average Although I will say Zestiria, if Zestiria gets one thing right, it's the soundtrack. So if not Zestiria, this game has like probably one of the best soundtracks. I can't really remember. Symphonia and the Abyss have good soundtracks, but I think Vesperia's soundtrack is definitely the best. As of now. But um, yeah, it's good. Um, the game looks really good. I think graphics are amazing. The, shell the cell shading is amazing. I got a follow. ME2K90. Thank you for the follow. I greatly appreciate it. Hope you enjoy this stream. <laughs> Even though you came at the very end, I hope you enjoy it. But uh, maybe you'll see me play other Tales of games or other games in general. Hope you enjoy. But anyway, um, graphics are great. Cell shading looks amazing. This is probably one of the best looking Tales of games. And the Definitive Edition confirms that, I would say. Yeah, the environments look really good. The, the game looks beautiful. I love the way the game looks. I'm like, again, I'm not really a big graphics person, but I'm a sucker. Oh, it's Yuri. But um, I'm a sucker for the way this game looks. I love it. But um, amazing. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Um, when I do like gameplay, story, and characters last. I do want to say also difficulty. This game is definitely one of the harder Tales of games, I would think. This is one of the harder games. I'm not saying it's definitively the hardest Tales of game, but this is one of the harder ones. Like, Zillia is too easy, Berseria is too easy, Symphonia is kind of meh. It could be difficult. This is definitely one of the harder ones. I found myself struggling on normal mode. I really didn't have to play on hard for most of the time I did, and I still would have got a good challenge, but I'm glad I did. But yeah. Also, I want to say secret missions, very neat thing. I love that secret missions are a thing. It just gives you like something to do during the boss. Some of them were bad. <laughs> there were some bad ones. The Jaeger one is terrible. I don't have that one. That's the only one I don't have and Dukes. But secret missions are a very neat thing to have. And they never did them again, but <laughs> it was a pretty neat thing for Vesperia. It just gave more flavor to the boss fights, I think. That's neat. But anyway, I think that's everything with music and graphics, so we can get into gameplay. I think the gameplay is really fun. I think it's like one of the best Tales of games when it comes to gameplay. Of course, Grace's F. Grace's F is always going to be my favorite gameplay. Also, we get this last cutscene. It's not really a cutscene, but...
that's a nice thing to have at the end. Again, I still feel the same that the ending should have been done a little better, but it was still good. This game was phenomenal, and this is not the end of the playthrough. Defeated the Atafagos. It's a gold trophy. I will definitely platinum this game off screen. Like, I, I will. It's a lot to platinum. It takes a while to platinum. I was looking at the trophies yesterday. Like, I'm like almost there. Like, a lot of it, I'm gonna have to NG plus it, but this game is great. Alright, we can, um, we can load the new game. And I'll just continue talking about the game.